There will nearly be 15 million software engineering jobs in the U.S. alone in the next seven years. With an 87% employment rate, software engineering is one of the most stable engineering fields for you in the next 10 years. But do you have the right tools to become a perfect software engineer? Software engineering is an evolving field, and it's one of the most innovative engineering disciplines. Every day, we see new software and applications with advanced features and innovations. As a software engineer, it can be overwhelming to keep up with the pace of innovations. So what do you need to do to keep up with the pace? The answer is quite simple. If your basics are strong, you will never fall behind. Your software engineering concepts must be clear, and you can always build upon that knowledge. But how do you make a strong base? Software engineering books are the best tools if you want to make a strong base for yourself. As a beginner, you cannot look past books because theoretical knowledge is concrete and doesn't change with time. In this video, I'll talk about the best software engineering books for beginners. These books are ideal if you're new to software engineering and know nothing about the field. They will help you understand software engineering theory and build the firm base for more advanced studies. I know what you're thinking. Why should I read books if you can learn everything from online tutorials and videos? Allow me to explain that. Online tutorials mainly focus on implementing a task. For example, if you want to make a simple calculator application, the tutorial will guide you through coding steps to get the job done. But you may not understand the data structures or the process algorithm behind it. And that knowledge that comes from books. A good beginner software engineering book will cover these topics. Coding, object-oriented software design, design patterns, and application architectures. So what are the best options for software engineering books for beginners? Let's find out. First, Clean Code, a handbook of agile software craftsmanship. Clean Code is a guidebook to help software engineers and students write cleaner code. Go through this book if you feel like you regularly encounter bugs in your code. This book has three sections. The first part focuses on principles and patterns that help you write clean code. The second part has several case studies. In each case study, you'll get sluggish code and you have to improve it. The last part is a list of heuristics to help polish your clean coding skills. So what will be the outcomes? Once you're done with the book, you'll be able to differentiate between good and bad code, turn harmful code into good code, make your code more readable, make proper function names, classes, and objects, handle code errors without modifying the code structure. Whether a developer or a beginner, this book is a must read if you want to polish your coding skills. Next up we have design patterns, elements of reusable object oriented software. Software engineering is all about identifying problems and creating solutions, and it all depends on design patterns. This book features 23 usable design patterns and practical uses. The authors present examples from C++ and Smalltalk, which will give you something to work with when you start using design patterns. Whether you're a professional software engineer or beginner, this book will help you with analyzing the need for different design patterns, implement design patterns for problem solving, and understanding design pattern dynamics through real world examples. Next, we have Patterns of Enterprise Application Architecture. This book discusses the dynamics of enterprise application development. It's a programming book that focuses on application development parameters, and these parameters are most critical for an enterprise project. It's a highly rated book for the software engineering because it provides in-depth knowledge about patterns, enterprise architectures, and project design hindrances. Martin Fowler, the author of this book, has focused on general programming and coding techniques. This book emphasizes techniques to solve problems that pop up during complex projects. Next, we have Code Complete. Code Complete is a book by Steve McConnell. This is one of the essential guides on practical software engineering. The latest version of the book includes a few anecdotes from the author and the latest innovations of software construction technology. With Code Complete, you will learn to create simple, effective code, refactoring techniques, debugging, software construction, and development. I like this book because it's an all-arounder for coding students and professionals, and it's probably why Code Complete is a widely recommended book in software engineering. Next, we have the Mythical Man Month. The Mythical Man Month gives a different perspective to the reader about software engineering. The author, Frederick Brooks, shares an interesting ethical and philosophical side of software engineering in this book. In broader perspective, the Mythical Man Month shares facts about software engineering from the opinions of management point of view. So basically, it talks about the ethical responsibilities of software engineering practices. In short, if you're a beginner software engineer, you've got to learn the do's and don'ts of this industry, and this is the book that you should read. Next is Enterprise Integration Patterns. This is the work of authors Gregor Hope and Bobby Wolf. It presents real-world solutions to apply various patterns for enterprise projects. It's a catalog to give readers a clear understanding of practical design. Some samples allow readers to understand the practical implementation of patterns. This example is technologies like Microsoft BizTalk, 
XSL, MSMQ, JMS. If you want to learn visual notation frameworks in depth, then Enterprise Integration Patterns is a must read for you. You will learn large scale integration and the pros and cons of asynchronous messaging architecture. Next is Head First Design. Head First Design takes an in-depth approach towards object-oriented design. Eric Freeman is the author of this book and he shares numerous visual techniques to explain different patterns and how to apply them through your code. Thanks to the visual guides, this book received an immense appreciation and it's one of the best rated books by readers. As a beginner, you can learn the most crucial software engineering concepts related to object-oriented design. Next we have Software Skills, Developer's Life Manual of Soft Skills. It's a reference book by John Sumnex. Although it explains how to go about your life as a software developer, it's an equally helpful book for young software developers. The author explains the value of soft skills in about 71 short chapters. He talks about financing and investing, productivity enhancement, career growth, relationships, and personal growth. If you want to become an all-around product and balance your life as a programmer and a successful professional, then this is a good read for you. Next we have The Pragmatic Programmer. This is another excellent book for aspiring young programmers. In this book, the authors Andrew Hunt and David Thomas break down code complexity and explain the building blocks to write efficient code. So how are you gonna benefit from this book? You'll be able to polish and refine your code, write flexible code for reusability, and work on your soft skills for a successful programming career. Besides different technical aspects of coding, the authors share valuable advice on career decisions and the value of soft skills. So it's well worth reading. Next we have Refactoring, Improving the Design of Existing Code. I have another book by Martin Fowler on this list because it's a great tool to enhance software maintainability. Refactoring is one of the essential concepts in software engineering and it teaches you to enhance your code and make it easier to understand. In this book you will find examples from JavaScript, functional models to explain refactoring, ways to make your programs easier to understand, and how to build solid refactoring tests. Next is Working in Public, The Making and Maintenance of Open Source Software. Nadia Engbal writes this book and she talks about the development of open source software in the modern age. It gives an overview how open source software should be managed through the modern era. She looks into the role of social platforms like Facebook, Twitter, YouTube, and Instagram in helping modern software reduce distribution and infrastructure costs. As a beginner, it's an excellent read to understand where we stand in the world of open source software development. Consider subscribing if you found this reading list useful and watch my video on the things that you should do before starting a software development career. See you in the next one.